Wait, let's back up for our uh, listeners. Yeah. We were talking about, you know, the positive topic about how much we only like dead cops, right? A-cab? Yeah, A-cab, right? What's so, A-cab? Uh, all, all cops are bastards. Ah, okay. That's fun. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're fond of our, you know, civil servants in blue, the Chicago's finest. <laughs> I'm I'm just here like trying to maintain PR with the world. Oh, okay. you, you guys, you guys <laughs> yeah. are burning the bridges, and then with the cops, you know, yes, sir, of course, sir. Well, did you hear? Uh, like, um, I just read this now that on Labor Day, they're gonna have another fucking protest on uh, O'Hare oh, Airport. On, oh, at, at O'Hare, I thought they were shutting down the highway again. Yeah, on yeah, Lake Shore on I-90 right before O'Hare, so nobody can reach. Like, wh- all the people flying in from Labor Day vacation, they can't fucking get out because they're hmm. gonna. Which is fucking. Was this a social experiment? No, it's, it's to sell their cars. But in the airport? Yeah, right. Did you ever see the terminal? I love that movie. That's a great movie. Sandry, I have not. Oh my I've god, Tom it. Hanks I, in his yeah, finest you, you, role. You just started looking at me, and I knew it was coming. I had to be embarrassed and say, "No, I've never seen uh, it." Finally, a movie I've seen that people haven't. Like generally, when I talk to Phil, it's, "Oh, you know that part in Scarface? You know that part in Goodfellas? You know that part in like any other movie I haven't seen?" But finally. <laughs> I've actually never seen Goodfellas. I have seen Scarface, though. So. Scarface overrated, by the way. Maybe that's on top of it. I know you're trying to maintain Ooh. PR with the world, but fuck Scarface. I think it's, it's way overrated. It is over- well, that's why they're remaking it now. I heard that. <laughs> I can't wait for that, because that'll be funny. They're going to get it right this time. Dude, the game on... I was so mad, because I wish it was on like Xbox or further, but it was on uh, PS2, so it fucking loads up. Right? Don't you like have to take a shitload of Coke to yeah. replenish? <laughs> It was, it was a pretty funny game. It was it was fun, but but yeah, it, like like what I loved about that movie is it like it, it was I felt like you know you're white if you watch that movie and you're like I don't ever want to do coke, but, <laughs> it, but, but 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 if you're like Latino and you watch it, you're like dude, let's do a bunch of blood. I found my calling. Yeah. You're talking about the terminal, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I could go for some cocaine right about now. Right. So I want to go back to Rob's prison story or okay, jail story. Yeah, yeah. So. It was uh, it was like mid January, and I was was probably around eight o'clock at night, and I was heading back to Desplaines from Carroll Stream, and uh, there was there was this old lady stopped and standing outside of her car in the turn lane on North Avenue, going on to eighty three. And, uh, like, almost getting wiped out by all these cars. She's trying to flag down a car for something. So I stopped behind her and asked what was going on. And she, her tire blew out. So she needed help changing her tire because the little old lady, she couldn't, you know, changing a tire isn't the easiest thing for everybody. Uh, so I changed the tire for her, and I made my turn on the 83. I didn't know that my back turn signal was out. So I got pulled over, like, immediately. And the cop told me that he had been watching me. He said, uh, well, yeah, I've been watching you since you helped that old lady change your tire back there. Well, I noticed you you didn't use your signal when you turned. Like, checked it. And, okay, the turn signal was out. He I'm taking you warning. in. At the yeah, time, the fuck? I was writing on a ticket as my license, uh, which I had had for a long time because trying to get that thing ticket taken care of was taking forever so i didn't know that my driver's license had expired during the time that i had that ticket on me Uh, so i gave the cop the ticket and he went you know to use that as my license or whatever and came back grabbed his belt did that thing where they lean forward on their toes while he had his thumbs in his belt line (laughs) i know that i know that exact pose it uh it looks like you're coming with me tonight sir and i was like what (laughs) like what do you mean it's like oh this shows that your driver's license has been expired for more than a year like how the fuck would i know that if i didn't even have the license with me yeah but they don't care anyway so like I think that's such a weird thing to like get arrested for. Yeah, well, though the big kicker was they had just changed the law on that that month at the beginning of January and uh, made it a felony instead of just a misdemeanor. Uh, huh. So I just caught that. The ad sucks. Yeah. So like me being like a punk guy, 
was covered in metal stuff and I got a bunch of, you know, my leather coat full of spikes and like I'm wearing like three belts. I got probably six knives on me. Sure. Like, great. <laughs> yeah, you can, I'm emptying my pockets. I'm taking all my stuff off, right. putting it in my car, which the, the guy who just know, helped the, the old lady was like about to get towed away for a week and it was going to cost me a fucking thousand dollars to get back. I actually yeah, was like I was yeah, right after helping recently. this little old lady and freezing my ass off, changing a tire. Like, so I'm in a great mood. <laughs> so moral of the story is don't help anybody ever. <laughs> and check and use your turn signal. So this goes, I mean, there's, there's a lot after this too. Like at the actual jail was a fucking nightmare. So was it County? Like uh, on the South side, right? It was, uh, well, this was at DuPage County. Oh, okay. So it's that actually, I grew up like uh, a couple to, blocks like, away from DuPage there. courthouse and all that, yeah. you know? So they <laughs> took me there and, um, I'm, I'm diabetic and I only have four toes. My right foot is half gone and I was wearing big boots at the time. And like, so for one, as I'm getting into all of the, like the orange jumpsuit and all that stuff in the holding area, the cops start making fun of me for having half a foot gone. Uh, and uh, I couldn't even, I couldn't wear up. the, I couldn't wear the shoe that they had, you know, cause it's like this goofy Velcro shoe yeah. and my nub didn't fit in it. It just like would fall out every step I took. So the cops were on purpose walking behind me and like curb stomping my heel. So I would oh. trip and fall. That's really fucked up. Yeah. It's really fucked up. And that's, that's just the tip of the iceberg still. I was there for a couple of days, and they wouldn't give me my medication, which I had on me and had my name on it, but because it was syringes and insulin, I wasn't allowed to take it. And the doctor that they had only comes in one day a week. So I had missed that day when I was in there, you know, so I couldn't see the doctor to give me the okay to, like, let them give me my insulin, which is uh, pretty bad. And I'm also on, like, yeah. a very restricted diet because my kidneys are failing. So prison food is nothing but salt, which is, like, one of the worst possible things you can have when your kidneys are bad. So Brown's chicken pasta. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was cruel and poison, but that's, that's right. fucking... Uh, torture's so not allowed. In, like, <laughs> in the holding area, we're all sitting there, and... Uh, one side thing, which is actually really funny, when I first got in there, no one else was talking to me. They were all like, all the other people that were arrested that night in the area just kept going and talking to each other, and I'm sitting there like, I'm pissed off, I'm cold, I just went through this shit. And th these like, are all people that like got arrested like within a few days, right? Yeah, they're, they're not people yeah. that are there for good, right? No, so everyone's kind of like, like in the same boat. Yeah. So that's, I was confused, you know, like, how come no one's talking to me? What the hell? Yeah. Well, I have, I have like, skeleton bones tattooed all over my hands. Yeah. And uh, so I asked them. This so guy. Like, we heard about hell? this guy changing like, tires. Y'all y'all a bunch of buddies that don't know each other? How come no one's saying a word to me? I even said hello. Yeah. Well, apparently, according to them, the the skeleton hands means that you're, like, a higher up in some gang over there. What? So There's no fucking gangs. I yeah, grew that's, up that's within a mile I, of that facility. Thought, like, There's no fucking, fucking gangs County. there. Like, all right, <laughs> oh, the, the, these guys. What, what probably happened is that these were a bunch of rich assholes arrested for drug possession because that's what happens there. And they heard somewhere that skeleton-handed yeah. people are involved in some gang Don't far mess away with from the DuPage that. skeletons, man. <laughs> yeah. Which, it, it made me like, there's no more fucking mad, gangs like, out know, there. I I got tattoos all over and whatever, but like I'm one of the nicest fucking people you ever talk to. You know, like I just like <laughs> I'm just goofy and happy, whatever. And you just so helped a lady like, change a tire. Yeah, yeah literally like, when you got arrested I just, for being. I just went to jail like for a nice like, dude. doing something nice. <sighs> yeah, so funny. like. So in, in the actual uh, the holding cell I was in, me and the other guy that were in there, we heard the cops talking outside of the cell about how they on purpose egg the other prisoners on to try to hit the cops or say something to the cops so that they can be charged with assault towards an officer. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. You know that uh, I think this was three or four years ago they had a breakout? DuPage. <laughs> yeah, DuPage County Jail had a breakout of two violent criminals. Were they skeletons? 
<laughs> they, back on the streets. Yeah, they were they were the, <laughs> the crazy skeleton gang of uh, of unincorporated Winfield. I mean, I'm just picturing <laughs> Debo and his little bitch in next Friday. You know, when, they were, when the both of them, break out, you know, yeah. when they're chained together. I have no idea. I don't know what ever happened with that. All I know is that we were very drunk at the time <laughs> when you broke out <laughs> <laughs> when we broke no, no, no. when when the breakout occurred and i was at one of my buddy's houses that's literally across the tracks from this so we're hearing all these sirens and like looking over and like, like stereotypical like searchlights coming off of like the fucking county jail and like cops encircling the whole area and we're sitting here like See getting coming out of the mud screaming real loud <laughs> no, no, no. They were they apparently uh were quiet and followed the tracks for a while, but I, <laughs> I never heard never heard anything about them being caught or or whether I don't know what happened with that. I should probably look into that. Yeah. But we just sat there and, and maybe they blew some <laughs> Pablo Escobar shit and had a moped underground. It's it is entirely <laughs> possible. DuPage County, very similar scenarios to Pablo Escobar. <laughs> yeah. And, not Shawshank Redemption. No, <laughs> not Shawshank. The, these or guys weren't looking to be redeemed. Three and a third. <laughs> Thirty-three and a third. Thirty-three and oh shit. Yeah. So, was that they were egging the prisoners on to take a swing at them? Yeah, it's just you know hearing that is like that is just such bullshit. So, I mean, it, there's there's a lot of reasons why I don't trust the police, pretty much ever. Yeah. The fact that I've always had problems with them when I've literally done nothing to bring it on to myself. Like, if anything, I do the opposite. And to have to try to have that, like, fake respect for somebody because you know that they'll give you more shit if you don't. Like I was saying earlier, you know, like, you have to, like, oh, yes, sir, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, whatever you yeah. say. I'm pretty sure a canine cop smoked my weed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I was mad about that. I, I, I had a situation with a canine cop that was shitty. I fucking when uh before I got this place, me and Kelly were gonna go like to a ho to an open house to check yeah. out a. This is like an Elk Grove Village. And okay. you, you know that fucking animal uh cop trailer right there. You know. By, yeah, yeah, I do actually. I know exactly what you're talking about like on um uh, Tui. Yeah, it's off of Tui right before the tracks, right? Yeah. yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. It just looks like a foreman's trailer in the middle of fucking... Yeah, building. with a bunch of Chicago police, which which I don't understand yeah. that either, because they're all Chicago cops. Yeah. But they're, it's not fucking Chicago. You're, like, way outside of the city. I was, I was, weird. I was driving down by there, because we I forgot where we were going, but it was, like, the road over. It wasn't, like... It was south of Tui, but it was a shitload of construction, and I see, like... Oh, Elmhurst? Was it Elmhurst? It might, yeah, I, th yeah. I think it might have been Elmhurst. But there's a shitload of country. And I look, and there's like a trembling fucking dog that got hit, like a stray oh. dog, because it got hit by um, like in between the construction cones and everything. Yeah. And I see his leg trembling. So I pull over, and I try and like hold the dog. And I call like animal control. And they're, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll be in there in five minutes. And hung up on me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like it, by then it died. So oh, Jesus. I was like fucking pit. Like I never had an I I never had a pet in my life. So that was like double sad for me. Like what the fuck? Like it's dying in my arms. You know. I have a uh, I and have an you never animal wanted story one. about that. <laughs> one of our one of our close friends and uh, former neighbors has uh, I guess was driving. I can't remember why. Something for work was driving through Montana, and saw the person in front of him hit a deer. And then, like, tr and, you know, trail off to the side and pull over. And he, like, pulled over to help this dude. Yeah. And, the you know, the they called the cops and cops showed up, you know. Um, but the deer's still alive. And the police officer's there. And he's, uh, I guess, our neighbor looked, like, told the cop, he's like, you should, he's like, you should shoot this animal. Like, he's going to die. Like, you should, you should shoot this animal. And the cop couldn't do it, so he gave him his his gun <laughs> to shoot it. You I, I, I'm not even fucking kidding. He gave him his gun to shoot this deer, and then and then he said the cop told him he goes, "You have to get out of here now because you just discharged my weapon, <laughs> and like this is like all sorts of felonies. Like get out of here, cross the state line. Like I won't, like I won't. I'll make sure they don't follow you and all this shit because the police officer like couldn't put this animal out of its misery. Yeah, drop the gun, bring the cannoli. 
No, <laughs> if only if it was a person, it might have been a different story. Oh, I'm sure. If it, yeah, in Montana, God, if it no was a problem. black dude, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I can do it. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to ask what, Yeah, ask my neighbor to shoot the black guy. <laughs> Here, beat oh, him. God. I haven't reached it's my sad. asshole belt in being a cop yet. You know, you do. <laughs> I've got I the love that down. fucking belt grab thing too, because that to- that, ev- that's every I've time. T- yeah, I was gonna say that's that happened to me before. And that they, like, same they lean forward on their toes. Like, yeah, like the <laughs> <laughs> like we've all seen Cool Hand Luke. All right, like we get it, dude. I I uh, I was downtown yesterday. Cause uh, so what happened? I I think I might have told this before, but I I was coming back from a show, Black Moth Super Rainbow with Kelly. It was like one in the morning. It was hot as fuck. It was like a heat wave. And uh, for anybody who doesn't know, like you know when you take GPS, what's the fastest route? Mm-hmm. I'm used to the I ninety, which is cars only coming from the right of you on the ramp. It told us to take the two ninety, which is cars coming from both sides. So I'm like falling asleep. Kelly's driving. And then I see this guy touches his mirror, touches her mirror. So I freak out thinking like, cause it's merging from the left. Yeah. So we're going to fucking crash. So I grabbed the wheel from my seat and then we spun in the middle of the lane, rammed into a guy, almost got hit by a semi and we pull over and it was, dude, this guy was fucking huge. Like looked like, like 50 cent. He was in a new fucking, uh, yeah, guys look like they could punch a hole through a cow. Yeah, <laughs> he fuck he was, and he had a shitload of like, because he, he was he had a shitload of chains. He was like in the like the newest fucking like outfit because he was one of those um Uber drivers for like the classy Uber. Oh, so he's okay. like a Uber X or whatever it is. Yeah, he's he's like a 2018 Oldsmobile, and we wrecked black, it. Black car. So we're just like, dude, we're not high. We're really tired. Like, we're sorry. We'll pay for everything. And the cop is like, well, I have to give a ticket. And the one thing I remember, it just reminded me like the 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 belt, belt pull. Yeah. He was a state trooper, so he's a little bit cooler. But the funny thing was, like, as soon as we got hit, like five tow cars showed up out of nowhere because people get hit all the time on the two ninety. Yeah, and they have to clear them off real quick because yeah. of the fuck up traffic. Well, yeah. well, no, well, no, they do it for commission because the only tow car that's legally okay to come is the one from your insurance. So all these random tow tow drivers come like, oh yeah, I'm you're a triple A, right? No, we're Geico. Yeah, I mean Geico. <laughs> And they, <laughs> and they try and steal the money. So this cop just keeps spitting dip. I just remember that because he so spit on me. He's like, fucking buzzards, fucking buzzards. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that shit ain't even legal. And he keeps spitting. And I'm like, but we're cool, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you're mad at them, not me, right? <laughs> yeah. But he had to write out a ticket for uh, sideswiping someone. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, well, I pulled the wheel, even though I wasn't driving. So I'll take the ticket because the guy said he's like, you know, I'm a fucking Uber driver. I'm not going to show up to court, like plead not guilty. So I ended up going to court, and um, yeah, you know it was really weird downtown. Talk about how expensive and shitty Chicago is. Fucking, I showed up at hey, my man. court was at nine. I live there. Come on, dude, we <laughs> love Chicago. Well, here. no, well, no, it's expensive. The, I, but I mean, I, I'm downtown, and uh, they said uh, morning special parking is fifteen bucks from eight a.m. Uh, to like ten. If you show up between eight a.m. and ten, but if you pay morning special. You have to stay a minimum of four hours. What? So, 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 <laughs> like, I showed up for my court court uh, time at nine. I showed up at eight, and they said you have to be here till noon to pay fifteen bucks. If you leave earlier, you pay fifty. What? Yeah. What kind of insanity? That is just like that's just like. For a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I went to a cigar club and just smoked a cigar. I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do now? And then I found out Jazz Fest is going on. They didn't even fucking open because I was there so early. I'm just so I'm just walking around like, you know, closed down tents. What the? F- okay, so can we go back to that rule where? Yeah, who can? Where does that come? From? Like, it has to be some weird bureaucratic thing, right? Where it's like the only way that they would allow this ordinance yeah. to pass is if this weird fucking thing is. Where do you get those numbers and rules from? Maybe you get parked in. Like they have a special part for the morning people. And so you can't, did you like, where was there easy out? Were they just like regular spots or were you blocked in? No, it was a garage and, um, oh, then there should be spots. It shouldn't be. Yeah. It's it, not that. And and the, the weirdest thing was that it wasn't like an owner being like, you know, I want to make more money. So you got to pay 50 bucks if you leave earlier. It was the machine reading it. 
So like so I I got clocked out. I I clocked in at eight oh nine. Yeah. And I showed up at like maybe twelve exactly because I'm like I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. And it's reading like fifty sixty dollars. It's like oh you gotta wait till twelve oh nine. So I'm just stand there fucking. Nine That's minutes. so fucking <laughs> weird though. Like, who came up with that idea? It's just yeah. like. And you how know, often do they make a shit ton of money like that, though? Oh, daily, I'm sure. Yeah, people going, fuck it. Yeah.